My name is Anna Coleman and I'm a molecular modeler here at Ariad. I'm a part of the drug discovery team and we go after new drugs by using structure-based drug design. Structure-based drug design is a discipline of building new drugs based on the information we have about the protein, which is the target. It is an integral part of drug discovery here at Ariad. This is basically a simple representation of a protein. A protein is a macromolecule made up, as you can see, of a large collection of atoms. Structural scientists, such as crystallographers and modelers, think of proteins in terms of atoms really bound together, and we look at the molecular level of detail. Another thing we can look at is the folding of the protein. So these are the typical structural elements a protein has. They're helices, beta sheets, and strands. And for us in this discussion, I think it's useful to think of it as just a big blob with a lot of crevices in it. If we zoom in a little bit, you can see that there's a very deep hole in here, and this is where your drug will go. Okay, here I'm showing you an example of a drug, in this case it's panadinib, bound in the active site of the protein. You can see that I've made the protein transparent because otherwise you're not going to be able to see the ligand because it's buried very deeply. The ligand also has a volume, a shape, and what we're trying to do in structure-based drug design is really, very simply put, optimize the fit between the ligand and the protein. The more perfect the fit is between the ligand and the protein, the stronger our drug will be. What I'm trying to show you here is actually the way we structural scientists think about the interactions of ligand and the protein. It's not enough to just worry about the shape of the ligand filling the shape of the protein. We actually have to go back to the molecular level. And the thing that holds the protein together with the ligand is the intermolecular interactions. Now we have different types of intermolecular interactions that are based on physics. The scientists here spend a lot of time optimizing every single part of this molecule to make sure that we have a perfect fit. Now some parts of it will have to be added to make it fit better. Some parts sometimes have to be removed to remove the bad interactions, and some parts will sit there and do nothing. Generally, we try to get rid of those as well. Our overall goal is to create a molecule that each part of it will be doing something productive in relation to the protein. That's what makes a good drug. This process of looking at the structure and trying to figure out which parts of it to add and where is a very interactive process. I think what's unique about Ariad is the way we're able to effectively collaborate together. Different kinds of scientists working on the same project. We have a great set of tools here that enable us to come up with new drugs.